today we're going to talk about uh, some of the homeowner maintenance that's required on a home. One of the most common things maintenance wise is going to be doing some re-caulking of things as you develop some caulking cracks in your house. Throughout the interior of a house and, an, and the exterior of a house, there's a variety of places where one element or construction piece is caulked to another one. And those are prone to getting those shrinkage cracks as the house just settles in. One of the most common ones, and the one we see in pretty much every single house, happens along stairways. And it happens where this board right here, which we call a stair stringer, meets this board right here that's called the baseboard. And this is in one of our model homes. And you can see we're starting to get a little bit of a crack as the house is just going through normal shrinkage and normal settling up and down this line. This is one of the easiest places to fix by re as a homeowner. It's just a really simple spot to do it. So what I've got is uh, some things up here that are going to help us do that. One of them is just, it's a squeeze tube of caulking. You can also buy tubes that go into a caulking gun, but this is a nice simple uh, way that you can do it without having to buy a caulking gun as well. This is just a white, paintable, latex caulking. And, and there are a variety of them out there. And this is one that'll work just fine. Again, it's just a white, paintable, latex caulking. Another thing we're gonna use real quick is this product right here called Denatured Alcohol. And we're gonna use that just to wipe down that joint real fast. And what that does is clean off any dust or oils or stuff like that that would keep the caulking from adhering properly. A small rag that we're gonna to toss out afterwards, we're just gonna dampen it with the denatured alcohol, wipe it up and down the joint there that we're gonna caulk. And then this paper towel has just been moistened with water. And what we're going to do before we smooth the caulking is just dampen our finger a little bit and it just helps it slide over the caulking. And so the first step is going to be to take the denatured and run it down that joint there to clean it off. And then we're going to run a line of caulking. But before I run that line of caulking, I'm just going to show you on this scrap piece of carpet here about the size of the line of caulking that you'd want to run down that joint. It's gonna be a little bit harder to see when we actually do that joint because it's white on white. But all you're gonna do is just squeeze this tube and just run a little line of caulking down that joint. And a, a, about that size would typically be sufficient. And you're just doing it right at the interior corner where the stair stringer meets the baseboard. So we're gonna set this off to the side for a moment. We're gonna take our denatured alcohol and we're going to clean up this little joint right here. It's really quick and simple. Uh, it'd be a good idea to throw on some rubber gloves while you're using the denatured alcohol. It's not real dangerous or anything. Um, it is flammable, so you don't want to have it by an open flame. So we just put a little bit on this rag. And I'm going to have to kind of hop in front of the camera a little bit here. But we're just going to run it down this joint real quick. It doesn't take a whole lot of rubbing. We're just trying to get rid of any dust or oils that are right in that joint. And this denatured alcohol dries really fast. And so within probably 15 or 20 seconds, it's going to be ready to be caulked. When I do the caulking, I'm going to go ahead and take the gloves off. You could leave them on, but I'm going to take them off. When I take them off, I'm going to get a little bit of caulking on one finger, but because it's a latex caulking, it's water soluble when it's, when it's uncured, when it's still wet, and we'll be able to just wash it off with water. So I'm going to take the gloves off now, and we're going to grab the little tube of caulking here, and we're going to go ahead and squeeze a little line of caulking down this joint. And so Similar to what I did on that piece of carpet, I'm just running a little line of caulking down this joint right here, putting it right in the corner. And you don't have to worry about being super neat because you're going to get some caulking out onto the stair stringer and you're going to get some caulking out onto the baseboard. But it doesn't matter because you're going to paint over it and all of it is painted the same color. It's a color that's just typically called gloss white and that color will be in your paint touch-up kit. It'll have a little pail of it. And I'm actually going to stop before I get all the way to the bottom just for the purposes of this video so that we can finish up. So normally I would have taken this all the way to the bottom. And then the next thing that you're going to do 
And so you can see the little line of caulking there down that joint is just dampen your finger a little bit. And what that does is we're going to smooth that line of caulking with our finger. And just by having the damp finger, it, your finger will slide through that caulking a little bit easier. And as you go, you're going to build up excess caulking on your finger. And that's another thing I'm going to use my scrap piece of carpet up here for, is just to get rid of that excess caulking. You could do it on the rag as well. So I dampen my finger a little bit. And I just start going up this little line of caulking, and I'm smoothing it. Just squeezing it into the joint with my finger. And now I've got a little bit of buildup that I kind of need to get out of the way. And so there it is. Just get it out of the way. Dampen my finger again. Continue smoothing this little line of caulking. Getting a little bit more of a buildup than I want. So I'm going to scoot that out of the way again. Dampen my finger. And sometimes you'll do that and you'll end up with a little gap still. I've got some extra on my finger. Just squeeze it in that spot and then continue to go with your finger up the joint. Yeah, I've got some extra. I had a small little bump here that I'm just going to smooth out. And so that was the caulking of it. The caulking is a white color that's so close to the white of the wood that you could almost not paint it and have it look pretty darn good. But the better thing to do is going to be to let that dry for several hours now and then just come back with the paint touch-up kit. And all you'd have to do is with your little pail, just dip a small brush in there and then just paint down that line, probably going about an inch up onto the baseboard and out sort of to the edge of the top of the stair stringer and just brush down it, a little bit more paint, brush down it um, and that's it. It's a very simple thing to do, uh, makes the area look a lot prettier and it's just an item of homeowner maintenance that will be required from time to time. Uh, thanks, if you got any questions feel free to shoot us an email at warranty at infinityhomecollection.com.